Hey guys, before we start this video, I just want to take a quick minute and um, share some really sad, unfortunate news actually. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard, uh, but we lost arguably one of the most contributing and important members to conservation and education in the reptile hobby uh, over the weekend. And uh, for those that don't know, Forrest Fanning of Zoo Dreams and Cold Bloody Cafe, the, uh, the rodent supplier, uh, he passed on March 1st. Um, and uh, it was very sudden. Uh, he was at home, which is, I guess, comforting to know, uh, but definitely out of the blue. Um, not a whole lot of information, and I obviously am not going out and, uh, you know, reaching out to Desiree or the family yet asking a bunch of questions because they're having a hard enough time as it is. So, um, you know, if you know more about the situation of the story, that's fine. Don't even bring it up or put it in the comments. Let's have a little bit of respect for for Forrest's family. Uh, it's really sad. I mean, it sucks because I never got a chance to actually meet Forrest in person, but I did, uh, I did get to see his impact on the industry and the hobby and reptiles in general. So, um, yeah, really, really tough, devastating news. Um, he leaves behind his wife, Desiree, and their young son, uh, Lars, who, I mean, I, I don't know specifically, but he can't be more than a year and a half, you know, maybe two years old at most. So, uh, I really, uh, my heart breaks for, for the family for sure. Um, Again, I don't know any of the particulars behind the situation, but it does bring to light, if nothing else, um, you know, keep your family close, keep your loved ones close, and by God, if you need anything, any any help, if you're just not feeling it for whatever reason, reach out to somebody. There's somebody out there that'll help you, that'll talk to you, that'll get you through it. I mean, you guys can reach out to me. Uh, I'll do my best to to facilitate that as I can, but yeah, do not be afraid to say something. Um, you know, whether you're not feeling well or you're upset about whatever, whatever the case may be, like I said, I don't know anything that's going on. Um, and we probably won't for a while, if at all. So, um, I've got some information here um, from the Cold-Blooded Cafe team in the family. Uh, the service and celebration of life will be uh, Saturday, March 7th. So by the time you guys see this, it'll be this coming Saturday, just a few days in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. So if you're in that general vicinity, um, look up on the Cold Bloody Cafe's page for the information on that. I'll have it linked down below. Uh, that's this coming Saturday, March 7th is a celebration of life for forests in Rapid City, South Dakota. And then there will be a much more grand, I'm sure, um, memorial service at the Tinley Park Expo next weekend, uh, March 14th and 15th. I'm sure that everybody at, at Tinley, uh, Phil Goss of NERBC, the whole nine yards, I'm sure they're going to be well involved um, of celebrating the contribution that Forrest had to this industry. So, um, yeah, really sad, somber news for sure. There is a GoFundMe page current for Desiree and Lars. It'll be the very first link below uh, this video. And uh, if you can help out in any way, shape or form, please do. Um, like I said, it'll be the first link down there. Go ahead and help the family. They obviously, you know, money doesn't bring Forrest back, but it uh, it certainly can help ease any, uh, any struggles or stress that uh, Desiree is going through currently trying to deal with everything else with Forrest's collection and you know the whole nine yards. There's a lot of people very close to the family that are dealing with all of that so um, I would ask that you honor their, re their request to just kind of give them some time to grieve and get through it and the people close to the family know what they're doing and helping out but if you can uh, if you can help in any way like I said the GoFundMe links the first one down there and then below that will be a link to um, the Cold Blooded Cafe Facebook page where all the info will come up for the memorial service and the celebration of life. So, 
I hate to open the video in a somber mood, but um, it's just something to remind all of us that every day is, uh, is not guaranteed. So um, yeah, just take that to heart and let's, let's move on to the video, which should hopefully bring in some joy and some good news uh, to the rest of your day. I hope all you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Alright guys, you ready? I can't believe I'm finally sharing this with everybody. This was a top secret deal uh, all year and we were going to keep it that way, but now it's time for everyone to know. I've got this unmarked tub right here on purpose so that you couldn't catch it in the background of any of the videos. And if you look at it, it says 829. That seems like a long way away still. I mean, you look at some of my other berry breedings and they say like March 20th and March 23rd. That says August 29th. Oh well, let me show you what we've been working on. That's right, you guys. The Mixology fam is adding another snake breeder to the collection. Mrs. Mixology and I are pregnant, and it's a girl. Baby Mixology is on the way. Her name is Zara, Z-A-R-A. Zara Louise Bigler is on her way. I am so freaking excited and terrified, by the way. Uh, some of you guys have kind of kind of been picking up on some hints I've been putting down saying that we had a lot of stuff going on in life. That's it. So yeah, not a crazy snake pairing, not some top secret, you know, uh, rare snake clutch or something, literally just baby. So whew, there you go. Now you guys know. Um, baby mixology, little Miss Zara is on her way. She's due August 29th, hence the date on the tub. Um, everything's going really well. Mrs. Mixology is doing great. Little tummy issues, of course, that's to be expected. But uh, yeah, big deal going on over here. Uh, it's probably going to take me away from YouTube and Instagram a little bit as we get closer and obviously after she gets here. Um, but, you know, I'll do my best to stay with it. And we're gonna hopefully raise a new little snake keeper and breeder here at the, at the Bigler house. Um, I'm super excited, scared, nervous, anxious. All right, well, I had to change cameras. The other one died and this card doesn't work in that one, even though they're both Canon cameras. So who knows? Um, either way, like I said, excited, scared, terrified, anxious, excited, the whole nine yards. Uh, but there you go. That's the news of the day. That's the big things going on, going on around here. Obviously, we're gonna keep going with the regular snake breeding stuff. I'll show you real quick this girl is due i think to lay any day now so no eggs yet but this is the mahogany hep hide female and she was bred to a mahogany hep hide as well so hoping for some sumapides there she's due any day and then right behind her 
on the first is this girl for sure. This is the Calico Enchi Pin. And she was bred to the Pastel Enchi Scaleless Head. So hoping to hit some more Super Enchi Scaleless Head combos because those turned out incredible last year. So I'm gonna go, it's hot in here. I'm sweaty. Uh, I don't know if that's because it's hot or because I'm anxious, but either way, um, we're gonna go ahead and head out. I got some work to do. I gotta start working on Baby Mixology's uh, nursery. I might show you that when it's all done in another video. I'm getting pretty close, but we're doing some cool custom stuff to it, so I'm pretty excited about that. Stay tuned, as always, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Join us over here and over on Instagram. Uh, that's where the overwhelming majority of updates go. In fact, if you were following on Instagram by now, you have already figured out or you already know what this video was for. Um, I'll try to time that so it's not a huge gap and where Instagram knows way sooner. Um, and I don't, oh, I don't have one down here. We do have a new update coming too. Something really exciting for the, for the brand, so to speak. You know, my, my boy, Mike Recker, Recker's Reptiles, built me this beautiful sign last year. I'm having another one made that's different. And I'll explain all of that in a different video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the love and support. This is a, a new journey for us and for sure. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. See ya.